great. It was a good risk. You know, uh, I'd heard your band once before, and I thought you guys are awesome. Uh, your, your playlist was great. I thought for our age group, my age group, myself and my contemporaries, uh, I thought you were perfect. And uh, the time that I saw you before, I just noticed that as soon as the band started playing, everybody got up and danced. And that's the key that I wanted, everybody to be dancing. So we had a great time. And obviously, it was, it was bang on. You guys started, bang, you played for an hour. Awesome playlist, and it's right on key. Everybody got up and danced, and they just kept dancing, and I kept dancing. My wife never stopped dancing the entire night, and uh, it, was, it was awesome. So. Yeah. I would say go for it. Like, if you want good, fun, lively entertainment, and stuff that you, all the songs that you all know from from our day, like you can't go wrong. Like you guys play, and it, it's it's incredible. Like it's almost like a studio, you know. And uh, that's the quality of the uh, the sound and the singing that you guys put out. And that was what it was a big attraction for me. So. Oh, you're going to be ranged from Stevie Wonder to Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, uh, Crosby, Stills & Nash. Just great, lively, get jumped in Chicago. Like, hello, it was like Saturday in the park. It was like, it was excellent. You know, it's just stuff everybody knows and everybody can remember. Anybody who's 50 or more is certainly going to re resonate with all that kind of music. And But oddly enough, the kids who are in their... 20s and early 30s, they know all the music too, and uh, it, it's it's outstanding, you know. It's incredible. Like you've got a timeline, you've got certain things you want to um, have played over a certain period of time, and you want to make sure that it's going to be done right. You you contacted me on a couple of occasions just to make sure. You asked me questions the night of just to get a little more personal, um, personal information about me. So when you were having some little chit chat amongst yourselves and introducing the people and the guests, you interjected all that kind of stuff. And I thought that was very, very professional. So, well done. Totally saw that, you know, you, you introduce songs, you know, so like, my name, Dave Clark, you said, we got a song, you got bits and pieces by the Dave Clark Five. I thought that was outstanding, you know, and, uh, you know, I was actually, I was really glad all over about that, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, but because, um, <laughs> sorry. Uh -oh. Totally. You know, Brian, like, you said you're going to be there, like, Three, four hours in advance you're going to be all set up because i know that like you're not going to start playing till eight o'clock at night but you're not going to be setting up your stuff while the speeches are going on and the reception's going on so you were totally cognizant of that fact you were all set up you were town you were sound checked it was great like everything was just all you had to do was just step on the stage and start playing and you did and it was it was great and not every not every entertainer can do that and uh, we could count on you for that and uh, I knew going in I was confident that uh, you asked enough questions up front that you cared you know so well I, there's no question you've got you got the broad spectrum of music from the 70s and the 80s incredible great sound I'm telling you, it sounds like a studio band. Like you can hear many, many other bands that are just you just know they're just a bar band. You guys are a band. And it's it comes off beautifully and you you dressed the part. You know, you guys are all dressed in nice dark suits with the orange ties. It was it was great. You looked fabulous and uh, you know, I was very, very impressed. So I would hire you also for the fact that your your price was right. You know, it wasn't over the moon. Uh, I've had some quotes before for other bands, and uh, it was like, really? Like, so you were priced very competitively. 
uh, better than competitively, I thought. And, uh, and so it was, it was effortless in that uh, decision-making process, so sold. You know, like we talked beforehand and you said you'd normally in a given night in a bar or wherever you play, you have three sets. And you put the two, put three sets in the two and you said you're gonna play for as long as an hour on each set and if you need us to play longer, we will. And it wasn't like me asking to do that, you brought that forward. You know what, that's pretty, pretty special, you know. And we needed music for the night and uh, you provided great live entertainment and I will recommend you guys to anybody, so keep it up. When my daughter was living at home, I could hear her singing at the top of her lungs in the shower and stuff and the music cranking in the bathroom and it was always, it was the, our music from the 70s, you know, it wasn't this rap stuff, or it was all the old music that they're dancing and singing to. So. There was no problem with the uh, with the younger generation uh, having fun, and as you can see, they're all up on the dance floor pretty much all night long. So, daughter approved, daughter approved, son-in-law approved, mother approved, father approved.